Kiko guac. Just throw it all in the same bowl. You're gonna put it on top of each other, so why not mush it all together to begin with? So in both guacamole and in pico de gallo, you start with a little onion, fine chopped red, a little garlic, I have a couple of cloves grated, and chili peppers, serrano or jalapeno. They're all in here, and I let it set with the acid. In this case, I use lime juice, lemon juice delicious too, and salt. Salt draws the liquid out. The acid turns, it starts to cook this and break it down, takes the edge off, and it gives you all this delicious juice at the bottom of the bowl that's going to flavor the guac pico mashup that we're doing. So if you say guac, of course we're adding our avocados. It's a fun trick. You just mush them down onto a rack and it kind of <laughs> chops them up while you're adding them to the bowl. And then we've got our seeded fine chopped tomatoes for the pico de gallo portion of this. We're adding our chopped tomatoes, of course, in cilantro. And I like to put in a little bit of smoky cumin and a little bit of cayenne hot pepper sauce. So a little bit of Frank's Red Hot, a little splash. And our green onions too. I like green and red onions in mine. And a little cilantro. If you don't groove on cilantro, use parsley. So I'm gonna mix and mash this all together. When we come back, we're gonna stack up our tacos. We're gonna build our tacos. <laughs> 